Ready with the main event, clean care, tail of the tape in the Super Bantamweight division for the UBF world title. Shelly Vincent at 12-0 with one knockout, weighing 122 pounds from Providence, Rhode Island. The opponent, Jackie Trivellino, 9-8-3 with one knockout, weighing 122 pounds from Parts Unknown, New York. For the official fighter introduction, we head down to the center of the ring with ring announcer Adam Palazzo. This event is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing and Racing and Athletics, Paul McGreevy, Director, Maria D'Alessandro, De De Deputy Director, Christina Tobias, Chief Licensing Examiner, Racing and Athletics. Your referees tonight have been Joey Lapino and Johnny Callis. Judges, Glenn Feldman, Peter Harry, Eddie Scunzio, and Robin Taylor. Your physicians at ringside are Dr. David Carpentier and Dr. Peter de Blasio. Twin River Casino, are you ready for your main event? This is the Clean Care of New England main event. This fight is scheduled for 10 rounds in the Super Bantam weight division and is for the vacant UBF world title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 122 pounds with a professional record of nine wins, eight losses and three draws with one win coming by way of knockout. Hailing from parts unknown New York, ladies and gentlemen, Jackie the Force Trivellino! And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 122 pounds, with a perfect professional record of 12 wins, zero losses, with one win coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Providence, Rhode Island by way of New London, Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, the Countess of Monte Fisto, the Queen of Mean, the Mistress of Mayhem, Shelly Shalito's Way, Vincent! Okay, Jack. Okay, ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing rooms, okay? Obey my commands at all time and keep this uh, fight clean, okay? Right here is good. Right here is good. Listen, I'm going to warn you now. Watch the heads coming in. Both of you. Watch the heads coming in. All right? Keep it clean. Touch them up. Good luck. God bless, girl. World title action from Twin River Casino in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Brought to you by Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports. I'm Pat Sullivan, my broadcast partner tonight, Scott Sweet Dreams Reams. We have a main event for the vacant UBF World Super Bantamweight title. Coming out of the red corner in all red, Shelly Shalitos Way Vincent from Providence, Rhode Island by way of New London. 12-0, she is the current WIBA international champion. Her opponent, Jackie Trivellino from Parks Unknown, New York, 9-8-3 with one knockout. She fought for a world title back in 2013 and getting a second crack at it here at Twin River Casino. Trivellini definitely pushing the pace. Vincent, 35 years old. Trivellino, three years her younger. Battling it out here for the vacant world title. Scott, this is what every fighter dreams of when they first put on their gloves, fighting for a world title. Absolutely. Both fighters have fought very similar opponents. Both have had success against those similar opponents. A very evenly matched bout here between Vincent and Trivellino. Trivellino's left hand's finding a home pretty regular in the first round. Both fighters in their third fight respectively here in 2014. Nice job by Vincent. 
rolling out from underneath that. Vincent at home here at Twin River. 5-0 here in this casino, looking to go 6-0 and bring home the World Championship title as hardware as round number one comes to a close of a scheduled 10 round bout. Shelly Vincent did a really good job of rolling underneath a lot of those, a lot of those punches, keeping a really low stance. Solid advice there from Rick Sweeney in the corner for Jackie Trivellino. Saying when she bends over, hit her with that uppercut. Something that all 12 of Shelly's opponents thus far in her career have yet to been able to accomplish. Well, Shelly rolled really well. Shelly Vincent rolled very well to slip a lot of those punches. Trivellino's left, her straight left hand landed pretty accurately for the better part of the first half of the round. And then, she, then Shelly started slipping it, so. Let's see if Jackie throws that uppercut like a corner asked. Round number two of the schedule 10. Again, these are two minute rounds here for the vacant UBF Super Bantamweight Here's that straight title. left hand. Jackie Lynn with that straight left hand. Carolino in the black top, Vincent in the red. Left hand again by Jackie Lynn. Just about halfway through round number two. It's a great pace the ladies are setting. That's one thing you got to get, Scott, in every one of Shiloh Vincent's fights is incredible pace. She has great work ethic and really can go in there and swing for 10 full rounds. Trivellino answering every single punch, though. She's in there swinging. Shelly's right hand finally found a home. Nice job, Shelly rolled and slipped underneath. Nice short left by Shelly. 30 seconds to go here in round number two, again of a schedule 10 for the world title. Now I like what Shelly did there, she rolled underneath and threw the right to the body, there it was again. She's landing with a little more frequency when she goes to the body. She's rolling underneath, coming straight into the body. I'd like to see him put a couple of punches together. There was a short left hook by Shelly, but it was answered with a straight left hand by Jackie. Trivellino answering very nicely in the first two rounds here. Every time Shelly throws, Trivellino has an answer for her. As round number two comes to a close, we head into round number three. Scott, you want to talk about experience between the two fighters. Vincent may be 12-0, but if you look at the round box, Trivellino has fought 119 rounds to Vincent's 60 rounds. Wow. Trivellino has boxed six eight-rounders, Vincent only one. So certainly the experience with favorite Trivellino here, even though Vincent is the undefeated fighter at 12-0. Well, that's where that experience comes into play. And you know, if, if you've boxed that many rounds in the ring, how many of you boxed in the gym? Ready for round number three. Two exciting rounds in the books between Vincent and Trivellino. Vincent and Trivellino both come flying out of the corner. Jackie doubled up that left hand and landed both times right out of the gate. They both came flying out to see who could throw and who could land the first Look punch. at this exchange. Both ladies just ripping leather right here. Scott, for the first time in Vincent's career, she's met an opponent who's going to throw as fast and as often as Vincent. 
You hear the crowd starting to chant Shelly to get their hometown hero going here in the third round. Well, Shelly usually sets the pace, and it looks to me like she's trying to keep up with it right now. Another straight right by Jackie. About a minute to go here in round number three. Trivolino trying to push Vincent into the corner. Vincent with a lot of head oh, movement. Oh, straight left hand, hand by nice left Sh hand. Short right uppercut. Jackie lands that uppercut followed by a straight right hand by Shelly. Vincent lands a pair of nice shots, and that's exactly what Trivolino's corner, Rick Sweeney, said. When she drops her head down, you hit her with that uppercut. You see Shalito Vincent, every time she's under attack, she's going to duck and put her head down like that, leaving Trivolino an opportunity for that uppercut. That uppercut's actually a lead right uppercut that she's landed. 26 seconds to go here in round number three. There's another straight left hand from Jackie. Another straight left hand by Jackie. Yeah, great fight here going. And what else would you expect in a world title fight? Under 10 seconds going, round number three. Crowd on their feet cheering for this fight. Well, Mikey Parenti just solidified his place as matchmaker. Man, it's been top to bottom tonight. This guy, you want to look at this match here, a female world title fight. This is something that fans in Rhode Island and New England are used to seeing out of CES Boxing and Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports. Last September, CES promoted a world title fight between Alexander Loeb and Tori Nelson in this same building. Birchfield has promoted countless world title fights for Jamie Clampett, other top contenders like Sandy Segoris and some other great female fighters. This is something that Jimmy Birchfield prides himself on, is the equality on boxing. And not only bringing you world champion male boxers, but also female boxers. And hats off to him for putting the women on the center stage here, not only in a world title fight, but in the main event, in a major casino, on a major boxing card. And, and they're living up to it. You know, this is three solid rounds. Very exciting fight, and you'd expect nothing less from CES. Ready for round number four. Schedule 10, three very close rounds. And Shelly comes flying out and lands that overhand right. Tries to come back with overhand left. Trivolino's able to dodge out of the way. It might have clipped the air. Yeah, I'll tell you, Scott, you don't even hear the bell stop ringing by the time the two of them are at the center of the ring throwing gloves. Man, these two are really just setting the pace. I don't know how they can keep it for 10 rounds. I don't think you can keep it for 10 rounds. I'm surprised they've kept it for three and a half. Vincent, again, has not been past the eighth round. Her first 10 round fight. Nice Trivino. right hook by, oh, that white right hand wobble, Jackie. Yeah, Trivino took a step back. Now, ready to come back forward here against Vincent as she ducks around and comes forward. Another straight right hand by Shelly Lee strong. And while that landed, Scott, Trivino also landed a shot of her own. These two are throwing so many punches that when one connects, the other one connects at the same time. Short right uppercut by Shelly lands well. Straight left hand by Jackie hits the chin of Shelly. Oh, straight left hand by Jackie rocks Shelly on that one. Nice job by Trivolino to come forward. Another, a second left hand Taking lands. Hook. Trivolino now applying the pressure, trying to work. There's that right corner. uppercut. And Vincent doing her best to Battle back here against Trivolino, whether the storm. Trivolino just landed. Big oh, right hand by Shelly Vincent lands. And there you go, Vincent battle back. Another left hand. Shelly Vincent, Jackie Trivolino, trading over here, right to left, and uppercuts. Fans getting their money's worth in this fight alone. What a main event. The fans chanting Shelly. And a big shot there by Trivolino. She lands again. This is phenomenal. These ladies are. Just letting it all hang out. You would think this is the final round of the title fight, not the fourth. What a tremendous pace. And Scott, you just used the word that everybody else in this building is thinking phenomenal. And in all the fights you've ever called, I've heard you say phenomenal one other time. That's how impressive this fight is. <laughs> Let's listen to Shalito Vincent's corner, Peter Manfredo Sr. She didn't see the right hand come behind that jab. And then with the quick look, short up on the shot to be quick, all right? Reason fours at a time. Drop, slip, don't pull up. Back her up, okay? That's it. You 
You're gonna fucking impose yourself now, all right? Here we go. I need some water, honey, please. Okay. Okay. It's got great advice there by Peter Manfredo saying you have to back her up and apply the pressure. That is what Shalito Vincent is known for. That is how she is 12-0 as a professional fighter. She applies the pressure for every single minute of the round. And Trivolino has done a great job of applying her pressure and getting Vincent to back up thus far. We'll see if Vincent now can get busier and stronger and push Trivolino back. Well, Jackie has been standing her ground. When, whenever Shelly comes forward, Jackie either doesn't go backwards or if she takes a half step back, she takes two steps forward. This is the first women's UBF title in U.S. history. Most of them have taken place in the Dominican Republic or in Germany. And this is the first Super Bantamweight title in the UBF World Division. One of these two will leave this ring as a world champion. And right now, it's such a close fight. It's such an exciting fight. And Vincent lands a big right hand that gets the entire crowd on their feet. And Chivalino not backing down. That punch hit, and as soon as it did, Chivalino was firing again. Nice left hand there by Vincent. Back Chivalino up. And she comes right back with a right hand. It's got you waiting for one of these fighters to get tired and drop their hands, and it's just not happening. This is ridiculous. This, this I cannot imagine this pace going one more round, but I said that the last round. Nice job by Jackie rolling and slipping underneath that. 20 seconds to go here in the fifth round. A 10-round boat. Look at that. Shelly just barely, look at the head movement. Making Jackie miss now. Both these ladies just keep one-upping each other. Vincent goes back with a nice left, and Trivolino doesn't even flinch. What a fifth round there for the fans. We're halfway in the book, Scott. Halfway through this World Championship fight. And if the last five rounds could be a shadow of the first five rounds, these fans are never going to leave their feet. Scott, listening to the corner for Chilino. First of all, they said, wake up. If she's sleeping, I'm afraid to see how fast and how strong she can be when she's awake. I don't even want to think about it because, I mean, you want to, <laughs> you want to talk about speed, accuracy, slipping, footwork. Oh, big right hand by Shelly out of the game. Vincent comes out. Another big right, right hand off the of left hook. The two big punches. Jackie answering back, but she's missing. Trevolino not afraid to back down. That punch backed her up, but she came back just as quick. Trevolino applying the pressure here to the body, and every time she does it, Vincent bends over. That uppercut's there, but Vincent doing a good job of eluding it. I am convinced somebody stole money from one or the other. Somebody either owes somebody money, stole money, Man, somebody called each other names in kindergarten. These two ladies are just pouring it on each other. Unbelievable. A fight that you only see at CES, a world title that you only see at CES, and commentary from Scott Reed that you only get here at CES. One minute to go in round number six. Jackie just pulls it on. 10. Big right hand answered by Shelly. Big left hook by Shelly. Short right hand by Jackie. Knock it off! Here at Twin River Casino. Scott Reed barely containing himself. 44 seconds to go in round number six. Trevolino, Vincent, still trading close here in the center of the ring. What a tremendous pace 
What a tremendous world championship fight. And this is what boxing is all about. These fighters trained their whole life for an opportunity to fight for a world title. The referee hasn't had to break him once, hasn't had to say break once. Tell him to get out of the way. He's getting, I can't see sometimes because he's in my way. Big right hand by Shelly. 14 seconds to go in round number six. Short little, short little left hook by Shelly. Final seconds to go. Wait a second, I think there was three seconds they didn't hit each other right there at the end of the round. They might be slowing down. Wow! That's how a fucking champion does it. Like that. Back this motherfucker up like you're doing. Behind the jab. Don't forget the body shots. You had it here with a body shot. You whip up to the head. Keep going down to that body. Don't forget him. I should be taking your last round. Mix him in. You hit it with a body shot. You had it fucking hurt. Impose your fucking will. You want to win this title? You better go get it, honey. You better get it. You better show us what you want. Don't back up. Back your ass up. This is your hope. Now, Scott, I want to say great advice here about Peter Manfredo Sr. saying you have to back her up. But much, much easier said than done to back Jackie Chimolino up. Yeah, it looks like you need a tractor to back her up tonight. And the same thing can be said for Shelly. Shelly's not giving an inch either. That's why this fight is unreal. Do you see the CES emblem? I don't think if you put both those ladies in the middle of it, I don't think they've gone outside it tonight. Round seven underway of a schedule 10 for the UBF World Super Bantamweight title here at Big Twin right Rainer. hand. Jackie landed a big right hand. She actually switched to orthodox. She changed her stance there. Jumolino trying to throw some tricks. They they got the liver on that one. Seven. She did. She's fighting this, the, at least the lead part of this round, orthodox now. Digging the liver now. Chivalino trying to go with the body more here in round number seven. Try to soften Vincent up. We've heard her corner twice say Vincent ducks her head and she's susceptible to the uppercut. Maybe that's why they go to the body, get her to drop her hands. She's digging the liver now. I think her corner saw something. And to her credit, she hasn't even slowed down an iota when she switched her stance. These punches are coming just as clean, just as fast. Big right hand by Shelly. Seconds to go in round number seven. The crowd cannot stop cheering for this fight. How could you? If you're a boxing fan, this is why you this is why you watch. Uppercut, lead right uppercut by by Jackie. Back Shelly straight back straight up. 30 seconds to go here in round number seven. Vincent standing in the center of the ring. Now Trivolino in the center of the ring, trading blows. Neither fighter backing up and in. Straight left hand by Shelly, backs Jackie up. Final seconds of round number seven. Trivolino with a triple left jab. She just fought this entire round righty. She fought the entire, the entire seventh round orthodox. Just as hard as she fought the first six southpaw. Come on, man, I need three rounds, three good rounds here. Come on, energy's gotta come up a little. Okay, a little more bounce, a little more pop. Come on. Ready? Deep breath, come on. Deep breath, come on. You're not doing bad, we just need to take Come on, we need to take these last three rounds. Scott, I saw you shaking your head there as you had the corner, telling Jackie Chavino to pick the energy up. Is that even possible? Well, you know something? It must be possible if he's telling his fighter to turn up the volume. If he's telling her to do it, she must have more in the tank. Amazing. It's got in an interview this week that Jackie Chavino did with CES publicist Michael Prentice. She said, I need to go in there and knock her out to get a decision in Providence. And she is letting it all go right here. Now she switches back up to her self-paw stance. 
That must have just been one round. She wanted to go orthodox. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she wanted to confuse Shelly a little, take her off balance. Man, have to go. No, no, Ray, what a shot. Landed there by Vincent Cholino, walking right through it. And now both fighters swinging for the fences. Straight left hand lands clean as a whistle for Jackie. Shelly just eats it. Wow, beautiful combination. Three left hooks. She threw six hooks, maybe five hooks, and three left hooks landed beautifully. One minute to go in round number eight of a schedule 10 for the UVF Super Bantamweight World title. Both fighters leaving it all here in the ring. What a tremendous pace. Jackie's actually backing Shelly up this round. That's a clinch. That's the first time we're in round eight. We saw her clinch. Did you even know that Joe Lapino was the ref in this fight until now? Yes, he kept getting in the way earlier. He kept walking in front of my angle. 30 seconds to go in round number eight. Vincent big Lowe, right big hand. stop by Trivolino. Straight left hand by Trivolino lands. Shelly is now digging in deep, but she's actually starting to back up at the end of the eighth round. Trivolino picking up the pressure. We didn't think she was going to be able to pick up the intensity. She did here in this round. Just like her corner told her to. Now look at Shelly, pins her against the ropes. I didn't know we had ropes in the ring tonight because we haven't used them in eight rounds. Nice. Listen to me, you gotta work behind that jab, honey. When, she, when you hit him and she backs up, don't just step to her with a shot. Step to her with a jab and work behind it. When you shoot that one through, it's gonna be almost together. Bubble, put them together quick, okay? Quick, not big blown up shots. Quick, short, fast shots, okay? Short, quick punches. Beautiful round. This is nine coming up. Nine. Six minutes to go. Six minutes. Take this. Here we go, round number nine, Scott in women's boxing. These are the championship rounds, round number nine and number 10 here for the UBF world title. Cholino Vincent in the red, Jackie Cipollino in the black and green. What a fight thus far in the first eight rounds. We still have two more to go. Shelly comes out tearing and Jackie just answers the bell. It seems like when one fighter turns it up, the other fighter responds simultaneously. Great back and forth fight. Now, Shelly is backing Jackie up for the first time in the fight. Both fighters looking for their first world championship bout. Vincent 12 0, Trivolino 9 8 and 3. One of these two will leave with the all-important UBF hardware around their waist. A little over a minute to go in round number nine. A chopping left hook by Shelly landed beautifully on Jackie's chin. And it wobbled Jackie for a second, but you wouldn't know it right now. She wobbled for about half a second and then I'll go to another right hand. 46 seconds to go. In round number nine, Vincent trying to get something set up here, but Chivalino doesn't give her any time to set up those shots. I wish I knew where Pots Unknown was, because they grow them really tough out there. Chivalino from Plattsburgh, New York, asked to be announced from Pots Unknown. Fans on their feet, last 20 seconds of round number nine. Look at this exchange! Eyebrow to eyebrow! Just ripping the body and uppercuts back and forth. This should be a bowl of dust in cartoon characters. This is ridiculous. One more round to go. Two minutes left in this fight. And I wish it was more than two minutes left in this fight, but I don't know if you can handle more than 120 seconds of this fight. I need my blood pressure check. I'm 
unbelievable job. She's repeating this back. Her head is so in the game. She's repeating back the instructions. Unbelievable. You couldn't ask for more from a fighter right now. Cimolino choosing not to sit on the stool at all in between rounds. What a fight. Both fighters certainly earned each other's respect. And I'll tell you right now, the Cimolino came in here as the out-of-town fighter. Everybody in this building now knows her name, respects her, and wants to see her fight again. Under two minutes to go here. Now oh, the what a vicious right uppercut! What a shot from Cimolino. Answered by Vincent. Big left hook by Vincent Lynch. The two of them landing one big shot after another minute 30 to go. Here in the center of the ring where this entire fight has been. Only the second time in 10 rounds we've mentioned Joey Lapino's name for breaking up the action. 1.20 to go here in the championship Shelley round. Shelly is now backing up Tribolino for maybe the second time in this fight. Big right hand by Shelly Lynch. What an incredible pace the two of these fighters have kept up for nine and a half rounds. One minute to go in a fight that I don't even know how you score. You don't. You don't score this. You don't let a judge screw this up. Unbelievable. 44 ticks on the clock to go until one of these Beautiful Jeffers right hand by Shelly. Followed by a left hook. 30 seconds to go. A straight right hand by Jackie answers it. Vincent with a shot. Cimolino ties her up. 26 seconds to go. Vincent back up top. Cimolino back up top. Final 20 ticks to go. Nice shot there by Vincent. Trivolino ready to answer. Trivolino's trying to play an angle, and Shelly won't let it turn the corner. Final seconds to go. Straight nice right shot hand. there by Vincent with the right hand. Final seconds to go. Lapino announces final seconds. Lino swings. Does it connect? Oh, unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely oh, unbelievable. Jackie Trivolino. Shelly Vincent. That was oh, ridiculous. Oh. For a 10 straight round, it gets a standing ovation for one Scott Reed. How can you not? There should be no decision. Jimmy Birdsville should say to be continued in three months, and we start at round 11. Unbelievable. Now, I'm standing next to Mike Prenton, who is Scott's usual broadcast partner. Mike, have you ever seen Scott this excited in a match ever? No, there's not a chance. This was awesome. Un unreal. This is the type of fight, Scott, where if there was only one fight on the card, you could justify paying $200 to sit ringside. I would, absolutely. I can't believe that I'm getting paid to call this fight. Life is good. I I'm standing up applauding. Unreal. This is what it's all about. And if more fights were like this, boxing wouldn't be taking the beat and it's taken. And Scott, once again, we can't mention enough what Jimmy Birchfield Sr. has done for women's boxing. The second world title fight in the last year here at Twin River Casino. And he had the faith, not only in Shalino Vincent, who he's promoted now 13 fights of her, but also Jackie Trivolino to say, you know what? This fight is main event worthy. This fight is world title worthy. Call the UPF, get them to sanction this fight, and then tell all the fans and everybody in Rhode Island, this is the main event, the fight we're I can't for. agree with you more. And I'm gonna take it one step further, and yeah, I have a different prerogative. I agree with everything you said, and Jimmy did a phenomenal job. But if those two ladies don't put on the show they put on tonight, it's a flop. So you need Jimmy to do exactly what he did, and pump it, and push it, and have the faith, and have all that control, and really sell it. But those two ladies need to train and come in and do exactly what they do and put on such an exciting show and let it all hang out the way they did or else it's all for naught. So one couldn't happen without the other and what they did tonight was just off the charts. I mean, I'm flabbergasted. And the anticipation rising as it 
Ring it out to Adam Palazzo. Walks so slowly and gingerly up the steps to tease the audience waiting for this announcement. And you're right, Scott. I don't know how you score this fight. When one fighter threw a punch, the other one answered. And we're going to find out right now who the next UBF world champion will be to the center of the ring with ring announcer Adam Palazzo. Twin River Casino, how about a round of applause for these true warriors tonight? After 10 of the toughest, hardest fought rounds in CES history, we go to the scorecards. Judge Eddie Scunzio scores the fight 95 95. Judge Peter Harry scores the fight 98 92. Judge Glenn Feldman scores the fight 96 94. For your winner and new UBF champion, Shelly Jolito's Wayne.